Hello. I have a journal that is from March 26th of 2010, uh, the fifth one of the day, when the Mayan calendar day was for storm. It's called Heads and Tails. I feel about like a storm right now. I feel as if my heart is about to break. Some may be under the mistaken impression that the life I lead is all sweetness and light. Well, in one way it is, of course, but not really. Don't forget, every coin must have both heads and tails. I'm in a tails phase right now. Tails hurts. Sometimes it hurts badly. Oh, don't think I do any suffering, mind you. I know, I know. To some people, that makes no sense whatsoever. They think that if you have pain, that means you suffer. Not so. No, pain is an unescapable, undeniable part of life in 3D. Just like the sun comes up tomorrow, pain will come your way and mine. But here's the deal. That's not a bad thing. It doesn't have to be. No, actually, it's a very good thing. Why is that? Because with the pain, you know you're healing. Well, that is, once you've surrendered at least some of the hold mind has on you so that you can give up suffering, pain simply means growth, if you don't fight it. It can be damn scary, too. We're pretty magnificent beings, we light beings, wandering around here in 3D in our DNA skin suits, we are so darn magnificent that we have to set things up in some really scary ways in order to impress ourselves. We're way too bright, you see, to be easily fooled. Oh no, we've gone to a great deal of challenge and difficulty to set things up just this way. How's that? Well, so we can hide from our greater selves so thoroughly that we actually forget who we are. <laughs> we actually forget that we've got a greater self. Well, that's incorrectly written, for we actually forget that we are this greater self. But anyway, so we had to do that, you see, because in this greater self, we simply have all the answers. We know everything. Now, how can you possibly have any kind of a decent problem when you know all the answers? Kind of takes the fun out of it, don't you think? Well, think about it. You'll see. Maybe read back over this. So, for whatever reason, no sense going into that here, it's not germane. For whatever reason, we've set things up this way. As for me, I simply trust that there's a mighty good reason things are the way they are, and I go from there. So, if you ponder this, you will see how about half of the suffering just disappeared out of life. With that new understanding, well, it did when it was new. I haven't suffered for a long time now, you see. But, to continue, I've certainly been in pain, sometimes a lot of it, like right now. No need to go into the specifics. They wouldn't matter. Pain is pretty generic anyhow, don't you think? We all have it. No one's is worse or better nor harder, nor easier than another's. Pain is pretty much pain. There, there's some more suffering just vanished. Did you see it go? 
Oh, it went over there when we depersonalized pain. That old misery loves company saying, though pretty gross on the exterior, is really pointing to something real on the interior. That is, when it's understood this way. There are many ways to understand it, of course. No, none is better than another. It's just that it's this one I'm talking about now. Okay, so pain isn't personal. Oh, granted, it seems to come that way. That's the thing, though. It's just a seeming. Plenty of seemings running around all over the place here in 3D. Gotta learn not to trust them, though. They're a bunch of liars. Yeah, really. Nothing, no, not one thing, is really what it seems. Come on, surely you've noticed something like this by now. Nasty little boogers, those seemings. Gotta watch out for them. Pretty soon you'll find yourself saying or doing something and really hurting someone else and all over a lousy seeming. Tricky little sons of guns. I trust Byron Katie for that. She's tough stuff on seemings. See my Byron Katie playlist in favorites to get a peek at this. Now, I know it's a big step, but if you're ready, then here it is. All 3D life is a seeming. There. That didn't hurt so bad, did it? No? Well, you got to watch out, though, for the delayed effect. It's a killer. Of course, it only kills the stuff that needs killing anyway, but watch out all the same. Got to wind this up, or I could go on forever. Anyway, pain is important. You got to give it time and space to be and just be with it. Just let yourself hurt for a while. Ever tried that? Don't run away from it or blame someone else for it or go shopping, watch a movie, whatever. Just maybe lay down, curl up for a bit, and just be. Just let the hurt come. Entertain it. Sure, you'll cry. So what? Since when did tears kill anyone? And they're not your first. Won't be your last. The thing is, there's both healing and hurt all mixed up together in it. By the way, did you know that the chemical composition of your tears is quite different depending on what originated them? On why you're crying? But not to evade the subject. Pain is just another word for blessing. It's just that We've got to go through it. No going around, nor over, under, or whatever, just through. So be in heart with it. When it gets the worst sometimes, I like to just drop down, you could say, figuratively speaking, into Mother Earth and just ask her to hold me, to hold me close, embrace me while I cry. Makes me feel safe and really loved. Oh, you haven't been loved yet till you've been held and loved by Mother Earth. Trust me on that. And you don't have to wait till you hurt to go visit her either. Just drop down in there one day in your heart and send love. Just go and be all the love that you are for the planet. Only do it from inside the earth. Find out what happens. You'll see. Till later then, I've gone long.